Our first reading is written in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 to 21. When the day of Pentecost had come, the apostles were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like a rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages, as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered, because each of them heard them speaking in their native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all of these who are speaking Galeans? And how is it that we hear each of them in our own native language? Parathians, Midis, Alamites, and the residents of Mesopotamia, Jerusalem, Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Sygia, Pamphylia, Egypt, and parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome and both Jews and Protestants, Cretans and Arabs in our own language, we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and were perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others sneered and said, They are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing there with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, Let this be known to you, and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk, as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, it is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your son and your daughter shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams, even upon my slaves, both men and women. In those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show portents in heaven above, and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mists. And the sun shall turn to darkness, and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day, then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.